Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So Floyd Mayweather, who was who was over Dubai for quite some time, which is rumors speculated from it. Well, now he's back in the States. And also, he's been putting out uh, teasers to see what's going on about as far as what his next moves are. He said he has something special for Mexico. Well, according to Michael Benson, Floyd is reportedly set to face Victor Cruz in the exhibition rematch on August 24th in Mexico. Now, for those who aren't familiar, they fought in 2011. And what happened is, I believe it was the second round. Might have been second. It, it probably was second round. They got to the going at it. Victor Ortiz lost his mind. Headbutts Floyd. The um, referee, Joe Cortez, who refereed numerous, numerous mega fights, ends up giving Victor Ortiz, taking a point away, and was like, you know, you can't, you can't head, but you can't head, but him and Floyd, you know, he embraces Floyd. Do you think he kisses him on the cheek or something? I don't, I can't exactly remember, but, you know, when Victor Ortiz, I mean, Victor Ortiz, when, um, Joe Cortez breaks the fight back in. Victor is still trying to apologize to Floyd, and Floyd hits him with a one-two punch and drops him. Now I'm in shock. I just said I was at a fight party. Everybody jumped up and started screaming. And other than Conor McGregor, that was Floyd's last stoppage. Um, after after the fight, Victor Ortiz floated out the idea that it could happen again, but Floyd had already moved on. Of course Floyd probably made 30 something million dollars fighting at least and Victor Ortiz you know he ended up having a career but you know that was the highlight honestly I don't like exhibitions especially for older fighters personally I don't want to see fighters take that kind of punishment but you know if he want to do it and have fun then I guess by all means right um, I do think that the fight would do well over in Mexico because people love Floyd. Um, and he still has that hate amongst people to where they still want to see him get clipped at some point. You know, if Joe Schmo drops Floyd, you know, he got the wobble, wobbling and, stu and stumbling around in the ring. He, people are not going to matter that he almost 50. They don't care about that. The only thing they care about is Floyd then took an L. But whatever, you know, Floyd to tell you, hey, he going to make a good 20, 30 million. Why not? And I don't know, whatever. Like, you know, but I, well, I will say this about Floyd. Floyd has that addiction in him where most fighters do to where they're not going to walk away. You're going to have to pull them away. You remember Floyd retired, came back, semi-retired, came back, retired, came back. The fight Conor McGregor. Then he went back to retirement, but now he'd be back and he said, I'm just having fun, but whatever, right? I, I, I'm just saying that Floyd's going to probably milk this until he's in his mid 50 to 60s. And he'll just keep fighting, you know, either watch fighters or, you know, some celebrities like a, a Logan Paul or something. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't know if it'll be on pay per view or not, but, you know, we'll have to see. But I don't want to get my quick th thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.